hi guys i'm sir classy and you're welcome to another tutorial and i'll be showing you the easiest way to get a good master track now this is a special feature only available to isotope ozone and it's i'm glad i'm glad somebody finally made it and it had to be isotope one these guys make the smartest most advanced plugins whether it's their mastering suits their audio restoration suits and much more i love isotope i love the isotope a lot like their bundles their plugins so they didn't disappoint in finding an easier way for producers and engineers to get a great master with just few clicks of a button yes few clicks of a button and it's very possible all you have to do is a new feature called the master assistant what it does is that it analyzes the audio and does some um it does some changes here and there and picks out the best feature, the, the best plugins, the best settings for your audio. And yeah, so let's give it a try and see um, what you can do. But first of all, listen to the audio that I loaded up here and then we'll load up the master assistant as well. So this is it. This is the, by the way, this is the default um, view when you open up Isotope OZO 9. So we we'll just listen to it with the default template already here. We we'll just listen to it and yeah, we'll see what happens. If I let's even take off the template, let's take everything off. So let's listen. This is this is from scratch now, from scratch, no settings, nothing. So let's play on this and see. Let's take the audio from the top by clicking this and then we'll play. It's the college test. Ah, oh yeah, do 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 ya sumami yo. Oh, yeah, go down low, yes, oh, yeah, go, 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 go anywhere I follow, yes, it's my sherry coconut, it's my sherry coconut, oh, yeah, go, let All right, so that's the audio. So when I just click this master assistant, it pops this feature up, and I'll just select modern, because, of course, most of the tracks I mix and master even produce are modern tracks, and not vintage, like, um all these or classics they're just modern tracks then of course intensity i want it to be high and yeah i don't want to if i was reference i could load up a reference track and it will use the information from that track but no i want i wanted to use the audio file i loaded in here so i'll select high then yeah i'll select streaming because i don't think anybody buys cd plates anymore so yeah streaming but if you were to be mastering for cd purposes yeah you can select cd but I'm mastering for streaming platforms like iTunes, Spotify, Audio Mac, and the rest. So now just click next. And it will say, waiting for it to play audio. So then I'll just play the audio file and then it analyzes the audio. So watch and see. So yeah, this is this is it. So let me turn off the effects and then listen to it without the effects. I'll bypass everything, then listen. Then with the effects on. So yeah, so this is this is amazing. You can, this is already a well-made master track. But because I, I'm already used to doing some more advanced um, settings in my mastering, I can come here a bit and increase the loudness by dropping the threshold all the way up to let's say negative 8 dB and C. And I may decide to add maybe um, a tape. Um, or an exciter let's add a, a tape vintage tape always load everything before the maximizer always load everything before the maximizer so it won't show clip so it won't clip your audio causing you want to avoid clipping in mastering 
so I can just load up a preset and Isotope also have so me they have the best presets in my stream. So I just want something sub two, nothing, nothing much, just sub two. So I'll select maybe warm up and see. You see, slight slight overdrive and low end boost to bring out the body. That's what I want. And I'll play it and listen. It's a bit too much, and I can reduce the low emphasis here. Yeah, so that's it really. They also have advanced features like Master Rebalance, which I can use to take down the vocals. Um, master Rebalance, like if me, if the vocals is too loud, instead of, if the vocals is too loud, instead of going back all the way to the mixing file, I can just select vocals and turn down the vocals. And let's listen. So, so I think this is a great master already. It's an amazing master. But you don't have to do all I did. Most times the master assistant already gets you there. But I just have slight preference. So this is just, I'm just doing this based on preference. Not really because it's not a great master already. So yeah, so that's how I master my track most of the time. I start with the master assistant and I add my own spice here and there to get it to sound exactly how I want. But if you are new to mastering or you don't have any idea of how to get your song mastered, just stick to the master assistant and you always have great results. There'll be no distortion, there'll be no clipping to always be sounding good. But make sure your mix is already good before trying that. But if your mix is messed up, it will not come out too well with the master assistant. So yeah, in every, even before you, even if it's manual mastering, a good mix is very crucial to have a great master. So yeah, so that's it for um, the master assistant by Isotope. Once again, good job from Isotope. This is just amazing. I'm glad they did it finally. So yeah, see you on the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I remember so classy. Cheers.